Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and today I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Virgo. Virgo is your solar lunar ascendant slash rising sign. Then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's knock that off. All right, knock, knock, knock. And let's see, what do these tea leaves have to say? All right, I hope you all are doing well. We have a wonderful card that is pulled for this reading today, and that is the Three of Cups, which is related to abundance. Sounds pretty wonderful, right? <laughs> So I think that definitely we have um, some great harmony, a sense of community. Um, I think that probably there is some kind of festivities coming up. Uh, definitely feel like you are feeling blessed. Your life is, uh, you know, kind of overflowing with, um, uh, you know, good fortune, some success and um, possibly wanting to share that with family or your chosen family, right? Friends, um, people that maybe you work with, whatever that is. We all have a different idea of what family is, right? And none of it is wrong. Okay, so let's get started here. Now, the first thing I see is this gorgeous image of a probably I would say goddess okay um holding this beautiful maybe wand um some kind of scepter it kind of almost looks like a flower it makes me think of one of these maybe um I guess would be considered a lesser goddess that doesn't really mean anything especially if you are uh you know a devotee of whatever particular goddess but this is not like okay you know athena or hera or one of the main um isis you know the big names but maybe something uh that is a little lesser known to us now anyways so something like a tanit um i'm trying to think juno right uh well, Persephone is known pretty well, but she also is a goddess of spring, summer, of the underworld during the um, the later months. So this is uh, this is a goddess of good fortune, abundance. This also kind of reminds me of like Green Tara, um, who's one of my favorites. She was a, she personally was important to me because she was a patron of my childbirthing experience. And um, I have a lot of Tara stuff around the house for my daughter because I feel like she is definitely a protector. Um, so we have this, this beautiful kind of maternal, kind of um, nature-based, uh, that plant consciousness, that earthy consciousness, uh, you know, very in line with Virgo, right? Um, she is in a seated position. This is a, a position of command, of knowledge and wisdom. This hap They are seated often when they are in a ruling position, right? Because you think of like a king or a queen or whatever, an emperor, some kind of ruler, um, sitting on a exalted chair, a chair that is risen above um, the rest, uh, a focal point, right? So this consciousness really is alive in you right now. I feel like you are, um, Oh my goodness. I think of like an image of somebody holding a million flowers and they're just kind of flowing out into a field, just growing. There's sun shining on, you know, on your face and in your eyes, just glowing with knowing and, um, 
just like a, it's not even necessarily bliss. It's just like this, uh, very like timeless, primal, primitive, um, but, but enduring, um, something that is from that kind of formless place, that ancient oceanic kind of, um, unconscious, uh, but beautiful, devoted, um, dreamy, creative, uh, and just fully in their power in the eyes, just, you know, I, there's so many depictions in like movies where there's like some, um, person or deity or, or angel or whatever. And they're kind of in this like divine state or enlightened state and their eyes look like they have universes in them. Uh, that's kind of what I picture, right? I feel like you just are, um, really in a very grounded, but, your feet are on the ground, your head in the cosmos, just full of ideas, full of energy, full of, um, you know, just clarity, command, a beautiful place to be, in my opinion. Okay. So, uh, I also think that I just want to kind of look at this on different sides here. We are working on some kind of project. And I say we, because I also am a solar, solar Virgo. So I would say <laughs> this reading is also somewhat for myself, but, um, you know, and I won't play favorites of course, but, uh, I do see, um, kind of these figures of people. Uh, they look, it looks like, you know, being put to work, uh, really coming together we have a person kind of leading a horse here, some kind of person with like some kind of uh, tool of some kind. So I get this, this sense of there's kind of a lot of work going on, maybe around a party. I almost think of like, um, like uh, a wedding, possibly a baby shower, um, you know, uh, some kind of graduation or I don't know, but there, I feel like you have had some major blessings. Okay. So I think that you're doing a lot of work to get this kind of party together, get this festive vibe going. Uh, I also see here we have the two eyes, the head, nose, beard, total pan energy. Okay. Uh, Bacchanalian. <laughs> and this has been coming up a lot. And I think it's right on because we're going into summer or winter if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, but there is this sense of, um, you know, as the solstice comes close and we're just, if, I think, what, maybe four or five days out. I'm not sure what day it is um, today, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but, uh, you know, we are... Um, we're getting close and that energy is building and there's a bit of that kind of build up to just, ah, the little bit of madness in these kind of, um, fun summer festivities, uh, letting loose a little, um, maybe, you know, losing your inhibitions a bit. Um, but I think that really just, uh, once you, once this party kind of gets set up, right, and you're, people are arriving, I do think there's going to be a bit of anxiety. You are a Virgo of some placement, right? But you are a Virgo and we worry about like all the little details about how people are going to be acting and how they're going to behave. Um, I think this is going to be like the biggest thing, um, is just kind of thinking, okay, is everybody going to get along? Or are they going to be complaining? Did I like get all the right foods? You know, all the, making sure there's no allergies. Um, you know, somebody's always going to have something to say, right? Um, but I do think that in this case, we, um, we're going to be all right. It's going to be all right. I think that, and I see this person here kind of 
jumping up and there's this kind of almost like I imagine jumping and grabbing the sun, you know, really obtaining, obtaining that, that orb of power. Um, and I think that, you know, you're going to be so busy. You're going to be running around doing stuff, trying to enjoy yourself, making sure everybody else is enjoying themselves. Um, that if anything is going on, I don't know that you're really going to be too bothered by it or even know that it's happening. Um, I don't think you'll notice. So I really think though, everybody's going to be pretty happy and in a good mood. It's just a nice time of year. Um, maybe the, the first big party of the season, um, big gathering of the season. So I think that, you know, you don't have a lot to worry about. Now, if you're not the one organizing all this and you're just, you know, um, you are a participant or you're kind of like a backup for the host, hostess, hostess, um, you know, do them a solid <laughs> and just go and enjoy yourself. No complaining, no nitpicking. Um, you know, just if you see something that needs to be done, do it. <laughs> so, um, but no, I think this is going to be a good time. I feel like there, you know, is just this time of year for Virgos, not only because we're going to be going into Virgo season in a few, you know, we still have Cancer and Leo right now, depending on when you're watching this, of course, but, um, you know, this is kind of like when we come into our, into our real, um, into our real Virgo consciousness. And, um, by the end of the summer or winter, um, you know, there's, uh, we are just fully activated, fully, you know, but also kind of burnt out. I'm always burnt out by the time my birthday comes. I am like, I'm a, um, I'm actually a, an August Virgo. So I'm at the beginning of the, um, of the Virgo season, but I, summer is just so busy here and you know, I'm in the Northern hemisphere. So, but summer is so busy and so hot that usually by my birthday, I'm so burnt out. I just want to sleep for my birthday. <laughs> I want to be secluded, um, you know, kind of in a real reclusive state, just kind of, um, you know, floating in some cold water, not bothered. Don't have to do anything for anybody. <laughs> Nobody is asking me any questions and I am just, you know, and I say that because I have a toddler and she's like, everything is like, why, why, what is this? Why is that? <laughs> you know, and it's wonderful, but oh my goodness, sometimes I'm just like, I cannot, I'm going to give you five more questions in this hour. And then once those are done, we have to wait until the next hour before you ask another question. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We have some hearts. We have a heart here. We have a heart here. Um, a heart here. And I think that, uh, you know, the big thing that comes along with this feeling of abundance is that, uh, there's a lot of room to receive love in this posture. Uh, I think that this is a time that your heart is wide open. Okay. I, th I feel like there are people from the past kind of, kind of showing up. Um, and I don't think that these are necessarily like, you know, romantic partners, but I think it's like a time for kind of, um, you know, catching up with people, um, from different parts of your life. Right. It's weird how sometimes, um, we just kind of go through that, right? Where you just, you go along for a couple of years. You don't really hear from anybody from back in the day. And then all of a sudden, you know, different people are showing up in your life to, you know, say hi, what's up, give you the update about things. And 
And so I think that this will be um, a pretty positive experience. I think that these will be people that, you know, there was no like falling out or any hard feelings. But I do believe that, you know, there's been some years between um, and you have evolved as a being like your life is different their lives are different but when you kind of like get together with people from different parts of your life it's so funny because you just feel like that same person again um and uh it's just an interesting dynamic that comes about but i feel like you know for me personally i get stressed out about the thought of um old people coming around just because I, you know, some of you might know I was in recovery, or I wasn't, I am in recovery. I used to not be in recovery. So, um, you know, there's just people that have seen me in all kinds of different situations. And um, parts of me, I feel still, I feel so, I still feel some shame about some of the stuff, you know, and I've spent a lot of time trying to really process and make amends and do all the things that we do in, um, in 12 step. I mean, I do 12 step and, um, still I like kind of cringe when I'm like, Oh gosh, I haven't talked to this person since I was early in recovery. And now all these years later, I feel, you know, my life is so different that, um, I'm the same person. I'm just like a more evolved being. Right. Um, but you know, even recently I, um, when I have come, come in contact with others, some people are still kind of doing the same things that we used to do, if you know what I mean. Some people have changed their lives completely. And um, I feel like I've, you know, I'm in a good place with t getting back in touch with some people. Um, and I feel like this is kind of the energy, you know. Um, it's interesting because I, like, just had a good friend who I have been talking to for years. You know, we never stopped. But um, they having situations where they are, you know, kind of um, reinvestigating old relationships and stuff. And, um, and But it's all been positive. So I think it's just a good time for that kind of you know, a little update. Do you need to keep these people in your life all the time? Probably not, right? We don't, you know, it's, especially if you're older, like myself, um, I only have so much time, man. <laughs> I want to say hi, and what's going on, and, um, you know, then I have to kind of go my, my merry little way, because I got things going on, and I feel like, you know, you're a Virgo, you know what I mean, you got all kinds of stuff happening. So anyways, we see this beautiful little figure here. Okay. And then next to it, there's a person kind of down on their knees. It looks like there's an angel above there. I really think that um, there's just been this almost kind of revel like revelation, uh, a state of awe surrounding your spiritual life I feel that there have been moments that almost feel like you could be you know brought to a state of weeping um, because you just feel so connected to your faith to the divine um, it is just kind of interesting how these things like come into our thinking um you know we talk about this idea of like intrusive thoughts where we have you know kind of really negative sometimes um like self-harm thoughts or you know whatever just uh kind of um ruminating on terrible scenarios or whatever but then there are other times when you have these thoughts that come into your mind and they're beautiful they're divine it's like um you know the the universe is kind of blessing you with this feeling of um just beauty elation splendor um, that abundance, your heart is in a state of abundance. And that is such a beautiful thing. I think that you are in a really in a posture of being very devoted to um, this kind of divine revelation. 
uh, or being inspired cosmically, um, divinely, okay? And uh, that is keeping you moving forward, keeping you wanting to do the work, helping you get through these stressful moments where you're the one throwing a party for a bunch of people or family or, you know, who, whatever's going on. Um, and, and I see here immediately a beautiful plant growing. I feel like there's just a lot of, a lot of growth, natural being, a lot of being in nature, um, kind of motifs going on, right? Um, but just, uh, you know, um, flowers opening, unfurling, the dew, you know, kind of dripping off of them, uh, just really in a place of divine um, alignment. I also see this little happy face. And I just think that, you know what, you are in a happy place. You feel like you are really feeling good, right? Just good. Doesn't have to be, you know, amazing all the time, but feeling good, content, strong, together. You're not losing your, you know, S-H-I-T all the time. And that's, you know, that's, I'll take it, right? <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending this time with me, Virgo. I always appreciate uh, you coming and watching these readings. It is an honor for me to bring these messages to you. If you would be so kind as to like the video, it's helping us grow the channel. Uh, you know, one person at a time, each and every one of us counts. And this, this is really becoming a community. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please think about doing that. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos come out. Other than that, if you want to leave a comment, I read each and every one of them. And I truly, in my heart of hearts, appreciate them. There are so many wonderful and lovely comments from people. And, um, you know, they keep me going, honestly. They really do. So I thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will talk again really soon.